Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today we will read about the common complaints during pregnancy. Common complaints during pregnancy. Completely trouble-free pregnancies are very rare, but there are simple ways to alleviate some of the problems. Morning sickness. About half of pregnant women suffer from morning sickness, which can occur at any time of day, and it is most, and it is most usual in the first trimester, between the second and twelfth weeks. It is typically worse with multiple pregnancies. The nausea and vomiting can be precipitated by the sight and smell of food and can be made worse by emotional problems or anxiety about being pregnant. It is believed that hormones secreted by the placenta may be responsible for morning sickness, as may redistribution of blood. With a default of blood shifted to the lower abdomen, women with an existing history of neck tensions or previous traumas may feel aware of an acute shortage of blood circulation in the head. What helps? With morning sickness, especially if it is severe, the last thing you will feel like doing is eating. But it is obviously important that you continue to get all the nourishment both you and your baby need. And at this time, early in the pregnancy, the demand for food is high. The following should be helpful in overcoming the sense of nausea. A brief neck massage, a brief neck massage for 10 minutes or so first thing in the morning. Putting a hot water bottle wrapped in a towel under your neck and lying on it for a while before getting up. Gently osteopathic manipulation once a week for the first few weeks of pregnancy. Acupressure on the inner surface of the arm, about three fingers about the rest and in the middle. It is an acupressure point called Niguan. Niguan. It is painful when pressed with the index finger or thumb of the opposite hand. Messaging and stimulating this point often helps to relieve nausea and sickness. The smell of fresh lime, either use fresh lime or put a few drops of lime essential oil. Lemongrass might work too, on a tissue and snip every few minutes. Fresh air. Open all windows to let in fresh air and use an air purifier if you can. Retention breathing. Although there are anti nausea drugs available, these are usually only considered by doctors as a last resort, as thalidomide, thalidomide tragically illustrated. <laughs> Drugs that are effective in what they are designed for can sometimes have terrible side effects on the fetus. Backache. Backache. Tension in the neck and tingling in the fingers in the early stage of pregnancy are mainly due to the dropping of the shoulders. In the later stages, as the abdomen bulge, low back it becomes a problem as the spine realign itself to counteract the extra weight in front. The lower back, lumbar. Lumbar. The lower back, lumbar muscles, and buttocks come under great strain. What helps? Yoga exercises. 
lie on your back, bend your knees, keeping heels hip distance apart. Dip your pelvis 15 cm or so above the ground and hold for 5 seconds before lowering to the floor. Repeat 5 to 10 times. Stand with your feet together. Tighten your buttocks. Place both hands on your buttocks. Take a deep breath in and push your buttocks forwards. Tightening your buttocks will prevent you from pushing your hips too far forward. Don't bend your knees. Hold this position for 5 seconds. Breath out as you return to the original position. Repeat 5 times. The groin factor. I have been treating back ache for over 20 years and have observed that the majority of lower back ache stems from tenderness of the groin area, usually resulting from an injury, which can be caused by certain sorts of exercising, such as weights, tennis, and squash, or kickboxing. The pain in the groin area makes the hips twist literally, laterally, or tilt forward, causing strain to the muscle in the lumbar region. Pregnancy creates the same sort of strain in the lower abdominal muscles, and the tendons above the pubic bone become sore on one side. Locate this tender spot on the right or left just above the pubic bone and massage gently. Do not press hard or too deeply as it is a very sore area. Massage the buttocks on the same side. Massage. Lie on your side with a pillow under your neck to support your head. Ask your partner to massage your neck and right down your spine, messaging just to either side of the center of the spine. High blood pressure. Your blood pressure will always be checked at routine prenatal checkups because high blood pressure could indicate a kidney problem or preeclampsia, a potential dangerous condition. If your blood pressure raises concern, you may be told to rest completely or even be admitted to hospital. Since stress and diet contribute to high blood pressure, it is wise to take precautions to avoid reaching this stage. What helps? Eat less salt. Eat plenty of green vegetables, fruits, and simple proteins such as chicken or fish, rather than red meat. Walk daily in a park or the countryside, breathing gently and slowly. Practice relaxation techniques. Stop working occasionally to relax for a few minutes. Avoid over-thrilling or violent films. Refrain, refrain from too frequent intercourse perhaps once every 10 days. Huh?
excitement especially unfulfilled may cause a lot of tension gently embar gently embar embracing kissing and sensual massage however are beneficial aromatherapy and massage of your shoulders and neck your partner may be able to do this for you try using the above techniques first a further step in homeopathy or herbal tinctures valerian drops on the tongue twice daily is helpful valerian valerian drops Valerian drops on tongue twice daily is helpful, but always consult a qualified integrated medical physician or homeopathy first. Varicose veins and hemorrhoids. The growing weight of the baby puts tremendous pressure on the veins in the lower part of the body. This is worse if the baby is large. The, pre the pressure cause congestion in the circulatory system in the bulbs that control blood flow becomes become non-functional the result is varicose veins straining due to constipation and the downward pressure during labor similarly dilate the veins leading to hemorrhoids piles or worsening varicose veins tightness and cramping in the calves restrict the blood circulation through deeper veins and forces it through superficial veins, making them swell. This increases the risk of varicose veins. What helps? Get your partner to massage your calves at bedtime with a massage oil. Massage gently upwards from the ankle. If you do this from the beginning of your pregnancy, the channels of veins can be reduced. Keep your feet raised with a single pillow at night. Lie or sit in bed with your legs stretched out. Draw your ankles towards your body and hold them in, the pos in this position for five counts. Then extend them as far as possible and hold in that position for five counts. This will stretch the muscle and skin of the legs. Do this three to four times a day. Cramp or tightness in the calves can also be a sign of drinking too little water or losing too much fluid through sweating or a lack of minerals, particularly calcium. Constipation often leads to poor calcium absorption. Make sure you are not constipated. Drink plenty of water, one and a half to two liters per day. Eat prawns, figs, spinach, beetroot, yogurt, squash, okra it need be if need be use a gentle laxative such as syrup of pigs or psyllium husk hemorrhoids are much itchier or more painful when they protrude outside the rectum and become dry use a wet tissue to push them gently back into the rectum lymphatic drainage massage by a professional is very beneficial in improving circulation in the lower limbs. Incontinence, incontinence or trouble urinating. As the baby grows, the enlarging uterus presses on the bladder, reducing its capacity. In addition, the ligaments of the abdominal muscles get stressed and sore in the area where they are attached to the pubic bone. This may give the false sensation of an irritable bladder, rather like a urinary tract infection or cystitis, giving the urge to urinate frequently, even though the bladder is not full. What helps? Massage the area above the pubic bone. Practice pelvic floor exercises. It will be found on page 211. We are now on page 162. Breast tenderness. At around 6 to 8 weeks into the pregnancy, 
your breasts are likely to become extremely tender with sensation that can range from slight tingling to severe pain. This is primarily due to enlargement of the breast tissue in preparation for breastfeeding. Some secretion may take place through the nipples after 16 weeks. 16 weeks is 4 months. What helps? Messaging your breast in the few few in the first few weeks of pregnancy will reduce pain later. Use cocoa or kikuyu butter in massage from the outside towards the nipples. You may feel hard lumps. Focus on this. Squeeze them gently between your thumb and fingers as if needing. Once they become slightly softer, they are less likely to hurt later. When the actual tenderness and swelling starts, hot poultice might help. Heat together a cup of salt and one teaspoon of mustard seeds in a pan. Then pour the salt in the center of, the, of a handkerchief and tie up into a poultice. Wrap in another layer of hand towel or kitchen roll as it may be too hot. Apply this on the sore area. Do this in the morning and evening for 5 months or to relieve the congestion and pain. Breathlessness In the later stages of pregnancy, the swelling abdomen cannot participate in breathing and the diaphragm cannot move very easily. So breathing becomes shallower with the neck muscles helping pull the chest upwards. This leads to a certain amount of hyperventilation. A propensity to abdominal gas makes it even more difficult to breathe easily. What helps? Abdominal gas is caused by yeast overgrowth, fizzy water, constipation, and high stomach acid. Keep to the dietary guidelines in the lifestyle program to reduce this problem allowing the diaphragm freer movement. This will make your breathing easier and more efficient. Also practice controlled breathing, inhaling for three seconds, holding your breath for three seconds, and breathing out slow slowly over six seconds. Indigestion and heart heartburn. The heartburn and reflux of stomach acid that are common complaints during pregnancy are generally due to excess stomach acid secretion. When the acidity level in the stomach is high, the stomach cannot empty its content into the duodenum. When the acidity level in the stomach is high, the stomach cannot empty its content into the duodenum so quickly because it needs to wait for sufficient neutralizing bile to be produced. The result is indigestion, gas, pain, or discomfort. As the uterus grows in size, the stomach is somewhat squashed with exacerbates matters. What helps? Avoid acid or sour foods, especially if you're if you have a history of stomach ulcers, gastritis, and heartburn. Gallstones. Bile can become thick and stagnant due to the pressure from the lower abdomen, and this can lead to the formation of gallstone. What helps? Regular exercise, control of abdominal gas with diet by avoiding yeast, fizzy drinks, and acidic food. Unusual cravings. Your saliva reflects differing hormones level in your blood, and this can affect your sense of taste. Many women find they have a distinct metallic taste in their mouth, which affects the flavor of food. In India, a woman eating pickles, particularly sour mango and lime pickles, is open a first outward sign of pregnancy in a culture discreet about mentioning such a condition. Pika or the gravy for odd things, whole, chalk, 
laundry starch, or eat earthen pots are quite often reported, but sometimes believed to indicate an unconscious attempt to make up for a nutritional deficiency such as calcium. What helps? Ensure you are getting all the nutrients you need, bearing in mind, for instance, that constipation can inhibit your absorption of calcium, and try to curb craving for sweet foods or enable substances. Stretch marks. Stretch marks over the breast and abdomen. You may also see them on your hips and upper arms as are mostly noticed after the birth, but reducing the effect should begin much earlier. This mark shows red at first and then fade to look like faint irregular scars. They are not directly due to stretching, but to the collagen in the skin being affected, reducing elasticity. What helps? Keep your skin well lubricated by massaging these areas with almond oil. If you are prone to them, stretch marks won't go away completely, but the massage will help. Continue to massage after the baby is born using G almond oil or mustard oil to nourish the skin and restore its, lo its lost elasticity. Closma Cleoplasma. Some women are alarmed to find plasma or the mask of pregnancy. It's darkening the skin over their forehead and across their nose and cheekbones. It happens more often in women with darker skin and it's the result of increased melanin production. The same mechanism that causes your skin to tan in the sun and in pregnancy darkens the nipples and make visible the linea negra down your abdomen. It fades after the birth. What helps? Exposure to the sun increases melanin production. So avoid too much sunbathing and use a high-factor sun cream on your face. As cloasma is an indication, that the adrenal glands are overactive. Exercise and stress management can help restore the balance, as can neck massage. Gum problems. A softening and slight sponginess of the gums is quite usual in pregnancy and not an indication of tooth decay, but to continue to visit your dentist for regular checkups. What helps? Lack of vitamin C or calcium may cause some swelling in the gums of bleeding. So ensure you are getting sufficient of these nutrients. Excessive sal salivation. Excessive salivation is not so common but is a troublesome complaint. It may be associated with morning sickness or later the link with increased appetite. What helps? Homeopathic remedies are good. Try Belladonna 30 tablets three times a day. Belladonna. Belladonna. Donna. Homeopathic remedies are good. Try the Ladona 30 tablets three times a day. Yes, and we're done for this morning. So, hindi dami pa lang ano, ini-encounter ng mga buntis. So, hopefully, this complains and what helps information truly really helps you. Bye-bye. God bless.